I run deep. I run deep up. Uh, no, I do not. Hi guys, I'm Dylan and I'm a full time Depop seller. I run 2 1 Vintage alongside my girlfriend Jazz, and today I'm going to run you through some tips of how you can be posting your items. So, one of the biggest issues that we found was knowing who to post with and what to actually use when we're posting. I thought today's video could be quite useful as I can share our experiences and set you off on the right foot. So I'm going to start off by showing you what we use to post our items. So the first thing you're going to need is something to put the item in. So we opt for a mailing bag. I think this one is 12 by 16 inches and you can find them on Amazon pretty easily. Now I am using the last few of these ones. Um, they aren't recyclable, I don't think. Um, whereas Jazz has some recyclable ones. Uh, that you can use for compost and stuff like that and that's the kind of route that we would like to go down I will leave a link in the description to both just so you can pick and choose but I would definitely recommend going down the recyclable route as it's more sustainable now next what do we put in with our item so we have got two things first thing we have like a little Haribo pack it's just a nice little addition as um, when you open it, you're not expecting it, and it's a nice little treat you can have while you're enjoying your item. And then also, this is a very new addition, but we have just gotten some little thank you cards. So we've got a little thank you note on there, and just says thank you for your order, that kind of thing. And then we've also got a little discount code. This is just trying to entice people to return and buy from us again. So on the back we have got all of our links, we've got a little note about our Instagram, if you tag us in a photo of you wearing something you've bought from us, we'll give you a shout out and post it. Um, yeah, I just thought that's a really cool thing. Obviously we are selling items, but it would be really cool to see people actually wearing their items and yeah, just showing them off. If you want to be successful, um, you're going to want to make sure that your customers are having the best experience with you whether that's customer service or when they actually receive the item and these little extras will help that process obviously we have only just got the thank you notes so we don't know how they do but with the Haribo we have found when we've used them we get a lot more reviews so I definitely recommend doing something like that okay so I will now move on to who to use Okay, so I will now move on to who to use when you're posting your items out. So when we first started, we used Royal Mail. We did tend to use just the basic second class when we were posting any item less than £20. And for any item that was worth more, we would send that signed for. Obviously, there is a risk sending stuff not signed for, as you're not protected then and people could just claim that they haven't received the item. We did think the risk of someone trying to like scam us in that kind of way um, was way less likely and we'd save more from sending it not signed for than we would be spending paying out on a refund. So that was kind of how we saw it at the time. And with Royal Mail, I have to add, we had no issues whatsoever with them. Um, they're really good, really fast, and yeah, really great service. This was until Christmas time. In December, we did have a few missing parcels, and our items taken a lot longer. Now, generally, this is fine. So we did have a few instances where we had to refund people, and we had one case where someone was basically messaging us every day, um, saying, "Where is my item?" We did refund them just so there was less stress on us and about a week later they received the item um, so <laughs> yeah I think Christmas is just a tough period really you learn and you move on. With Royal Mail as well if you do have anything lost they only cover the cost that you paid for the item so um, a lot of the time if you're getting stuff in charity shops it's not really worth 
taken the effort to um, get that refund because generally it's going to be less than a fiver and with the lost parcel claim kind of process it can take quite a while so most of the time it's not really worth it but again I do have to stress apart from the Christmas time um, we had no issues whatsoever with Royal Mail I would definitely recommend it if a post office or Royal Mail is the closest thing to you but Christmas did make us switch how we posted things we then decided that it wasn't worth the stress sending stuff not signed for so we opted to go to Tracked. We also made the switch to Hermes as Royal Mail up their prices and so it worked out cheaper. So with sign for large letter is going to be cheaper at Royal Mail but for me Royal Mail and Hermes is about 25 to 30 minutes away from each other so it's not worth the time that it takes for me to go to both. The thing is at least if it is tracked then you know exactly where it is and you know if the person has received it. Another huge bonus is if anything does end up lost, they cover the price that um, it's sold for and not what you bought it for. So it's gonna have a lot less of an impact on your overall business. You can actually use Hermes through the Depop app and we recently noticed this and it saved us so much time before we'd have to go on the Hermes app, um, put all the information in and it would just take so much longer than just Depop doing it for you really. <laughs> it is nice because the postage is then taken out at the same time as the fees. So uh, all the money that you receive on your PayPal is yours, obviously unless you get a return, but you know what I mean. So a little roundup of what I've gone over today. Definitely recommend Hermes, if you can just use it through the app as it will save you a lot of time. And if you can't get to a Hermes drop off, definitely use Royal Mail and yeah, maybe over Christmas time you sign for, but that's all up to you really. I hope you did find that useful, um, if you did make sure you smash the like button. Comment if you do anything slightly differently or what your experiences are with Royal Mail and Hermes. And subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Thanks for watching guys, catch you next time, bye.